Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the Neo 12 Platinum Software Suite and this is once again the Neo 12 Platinum Welcome Screen and we are going to take a look at the burning applications that come with Neo 12 Platinum. Of course you have the Neo Express right here at the bottom. It is a uh, widget style application that allows you to burn and back up your data into a uh, DVD or even a Blu-ray if you have the Platinum version. You can see here you can also make a secure data disk, secure CD, a secure disk you know, for Blu-ray, and uh, you can also select music. You can create an audio CD, a jukebox audio CD, and of course a DVD and a Blu-ray disk version as well. And for videos, you can uh, select your AVC HD uh, DVD, a Blu-ray, and just DVD video files. And of course the fourth one is just for uh, creating a an image of your disk. Maybe you back it up and maybe uh, you make multiple copies later on make an ISO of it and uh, of course you can do select a data disk and just uh, demonstrate the layout as you can see there that uh, it is quite simple it is a wizard so it's files from Nero my, uh, media browser or just the regular files from Windows I have my Nero files here that I've used earlier let me just select those files you can see there and then it uh, still is open uh, allows you to add more files in case you need to add more of course for now that will that will do so see there I added those files and then the next step here the options here uh, create a new folder or you, uh, you could manage the um, the directories within that driver see there's plenty of space uh, left of course uh, select your recorder if you have multiple uh, ones you have the image recorder for recording an ISO you can do that and of course your disk name so uh, benchmark backup and that's it and then the burn if you want to uh, if you select of course image recorder it will prompt you to uh, save it to a directory of your choice you can save it here on your my documents for the uh, we'll save it as a Nero image file so a Nero uh, NRG there so backup NRG and we'll save simple as that See, it's very quick since we don't have too many files in there. It is that simple, and near, that's why it's called Neo Express after all. As you can see, burn process complete, and that is our ISO ready to go. Well, uh, we can just do it again. We're in the same project, create a new project, or save this project so we can use it later on. Of course, we can close this one this message and take a look at the full fledged Nero burning raw utility. Of course, this is Nero's most popular software been using it uh, I think I've, ever since the first time I built a computer a long time ago almost, uh, uh, since I was still uh, my uh, I think I was still a teenager back then but, uh, so why is this uh, message pop up here this is of course uh, this is the welcome screen for all the near software it just pops up if, you've, if it was the first time you've run the software show you uh, an overview of the what uh, the capabilities are and the features of course you can just prompt it to never show this dialog again. If you are an advanced user, you don't need it. And similar to Near Express, you have the option of making a DVD, CD, and Blu-ray. And each one gives you a lot of options. You can see here you have UDF, DVD copy, DVD video, all the way down to secure disk. And you can quickly switch back and forth to Near Express just down here at the bottom or the full-fledged Neo Burning ROM. And as you can see, there's a lot more options in here. You have your writing speed. You set the writing speed here to the maximum. Auto detects the speed of your drive. And you also select multiple recorders if you have a lot installed. You can click disk info at the bottom to, uh, if you have an appropriate disk in there. Since I don't have anything in there, I actually have a Blu-ray um, video in there, so it's uh, it's not detecting the drive. But if you have a blank drive in there, uh, a blank disk, it will be able to detect the uh, the type you have inside. You can also have it determine the maximum speed automatically there's a lot of automatic features in Neo Burning ROM even if it's the advanced version you can still um, make it a, a very much simpler than uh, than your usual uh, burning setup in here and uh, let's try to create a DVD file here so let's see DVD ISO make an ISO select multi-session Neo Disk Span Auto Run these are more advanced options if you're not familiar of course leave it at Auto for now New and similarly we have the same thing we have can go to library add our files 
there my high tech legion that's where was my backup file earlier and we actually can go to the high tech legion images there's a lot of images here this is a lot bigger than our previous uh, uh, DVD that we backed up with uh, the Tinder Express. As you can see here on the right side corner, you have the DVD 9, 8.5 gigabytes. You can select, of course, once it's done with the progress loading, I have about over 1 gigabyte of images in here. You can select 4.7 gigabytes, depending on the type. Of course, it auto detects if you have a, uh, a, uh, an image in there. See, I have all my videos in there. You can also move them around, uh, make folders, and then you're ready to burn. Anytime you're ready to burn, just select burn. Of course, you need to also select the output. If you want the image recorder, same thing we did. Uh, you can just drop, pick the drop down there, the image recorder, and then hit burn, or just burn now here in the corner. See there immediately without checking your settings. Never check, never show this message again. You can that if you're an advanced user of course yes and now of course some file names are incompatible with CD file system such as this one it is a very long file name and automatically detects it for you so it, uh, it I will allow Neo to automatically name that for me and here again uh, backup to you're backing up the drive you can see a fact it's very fast as it is uh, just creating a an ISO into the, the drive itself it's very simple and again there's an option here for automatically shutting down a PC when done similar to uh, Nero recode so you can uh, leave a long batch of, uh, of work there and then just sleep go wake up in the morning your system is shut down uh, save electricity uh, pretty much it and also you can do verify written data just in case uh, the you, you want to make sure that uh, the data on the drive is working if you don't have time to test it out uh, again once when you go to sleep and then you leave it uh, leave near ROM automatically uh, doing the burning for you so see here we have at 48 percent is about 47 seconds it's a little bit over one gig so that is uh, that's still pretty fast for a uh, DVD burning application Also, there is a grayed out option here for secure disk surface scan. Of course, that is uh, dependent on your drive. If it supports that, should uh, that should, that option will be available for you. See the option here available while you are uh, burning. You have your uh, toolbar options. You can adjust the toolbar options while you're loading it. And every other option is grayed out since, uh, but uh, except for new, you can actually create a new project while you're burning multitask while you are burning with the Nero uh, uh, burning ROM software of course before people didn't recommend uh, br uh, doing something else while burning but uh, now computers are much more powerful you can multitask much more easily and Nero is a lot more intelligent than uh, you know it doesn't doesn't get bogged down with too much work it can handle the load uh, probably even if you can you can start more uh, more of the another project with Nero burning ROM while you are burning uh, a disk into an image or to a disk uh, into the physical disk and we are almost done here with our backup as you can see uh, depending on the file size depending on the, uh, the type of file it will, it will be faster or slower when it is uh, burning here we go you can see the burn file was completely successful you have a detailed timestamp there you can save it to log or print it out or burn the same project again you can see it is quite simple and once again you can just close this one same compilation no and we're back to our main window here with near 12 platinum and it is now time to look at the next uh, set of applications uh, see the near burning ROM and near express were quite easy to use let's move on to the next software